Okay, this is just a really uh, brief overview of how to configure port audio in uh, MAME. Port audio is um, you know, basically a new audio API that was added to MAME this year. It's officially supported and it essentially allows MAME to take exclusive control over your audio device so you can get the lowest possible latency in uh, you, know, you know programs that you're you're running through MAME, there are in Windows at least there are basically two different ways uh, that you can configure port audio for optimal performance. You can use the uh, Windows Audio Session API, uh, or you can use the Windows uh, Kernel Streaming API. Uh, basically, Windows kernel streaming will get you slightly lower latency than uh, Windows, Windows Audio Session API, but it's a pretty minuscule difference, so it basically boils down to whatever you have support for, whatever works the best on your machine. Something to keep in mind with this is that uh, there is you know, very little buffering going on here. Um, you know, it, everything is happening you know, really close to, uh, you know, when uh, it actually needs to output audio. And so there is no room for slowdowns, you know, the CPU or, or other components. Everything has to be running optimally for this to, you know, work properly. So if you really want to have a serious setup, if you really want to have the highest quality possible MAME setup, you aren't running unnecessary garbage in the background. You're running a lightweight front end that isn't going to interfere with the behavior of MAME. Hyperspin's out. Hyperspin doesn't work with this properly. It's just it's going to suck. So it's, that's basically a waste. Um, yeah. So go with you know attract mode or or, or whatever. But um, yeah, basically you know it requires exclusive control over your audio device. So say you have like a video running in the background and then you launch MAME with this, um, it'll actually kill the audio in your uh, media player because MAME is exclusively controlling your audio device at that point when it's using this. So um, yeah, I would recommend trying you know, kernel streaming. Um, I'm going to put it in the comments so you can just paste stuff in, but these are basically the things that you paste in. I have these commented out right now because the computer that I'm recording this video on, uh, the driver doesn't actually uh, support uh, kernel streaming uh, API. It, it only has Windows Audio Session API support, so that's why I'm using that. Uh, but yeah, you basically, you know, so you would set sound as port audio um, and you would set uh, the API as, you know, one of these two here and then you're going to set the latency and these are the settings that people have determined are pretty much as low as you can go without getting any noticeable breakup or, or any noticeable problems. Uh, it's really great. It's really fantastic. It, it's, a, it's a deal. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a game changer rather. Uh, once you experience this and, and feel how, uh, you know, low uh, latency, you know, really, you know, makes everything seem more responsive, it's really hard to go back to, uh, you know, the, the traditional audio APIs and, and even other emulators. I mean, I mean, really, after you use this for a while, other emulators just kind of feel like shit because they all have really terrible audio latency, you know, like... Uh, you know, uh, that retro arc or, or arch or whatever, and uh, other emulators. Yeah, they're, they're garbage compared to this. They're, they're basically useless. So, um, I mean, this is pretty much the only way, like like if you get a CRT arcade monitor or something, or, or like a CRT monitor with, you know, components or S card or whatever, um, and, and set this up, this is pretty much it. You know, you can create some, you can create a setup that's basically indistinguishable from real hardware. Nobody's going to be able to tell the difference. It's within margin of error at this point. So, uh, yeah, so check the comments for the settings. And uh, these are the two ways you can go to configure this thing. Uh, and it's, it's a really great experience. It's, it's really fantastic. You know, this how high uh, the quality of MAME is at this point, you know, like what it can really do. I mean, you play like a Neo Geo game or, or something that has a good driver and it's just, it's indistinguishable from real hardware. It's, it's, it's actually really, really amazing.